So here's the alpaca female band. Feathers, blackbird, and Oreo balloon munching away. And here's good old Ebony having a munch. And you can see all those nasty maggoties things are just about gone, falling off of her. They're dead, but there are still a few hanging about, but they're all gone. I'll be putting um, cream. I've got this wonderful creamy balm that I'm gonna put on her because you can see she's kind of raw there. So this creamy balm, uh, this creamy uh, cream, herbal cream will be great for her. Anyway, she's much happier and eating with her companions. So you're gonna help me film. This is another of um, Susan's beautiful sweaters that she knitted. Isn't that just, I that is so beautiful. Finished. This pattern is called the Drop Dead Freddy. It's by Cat Weaver of Heather and Hops on YouTube. She designed this, it's lovely. It's supposed to be with a lot it's of positive so ease. It's so soft. A lot of what? A lot of positive ease. So like you can, I knit it closer, but you can knit it so it's, you know, really big and swingy and light. And but you knit it close. I knit it closer, yeah. It's so, really, really beautiful. Oh, it's it's just the... Yeah. And it's so, you guys have no idea how soft that is, <laughs> which means it's probably really, really warm. It is. It's very warm because it's mohair in there, so it'll keep <gasps> you very warm. Delicious. Yes. Okay. Well, like I said earlier, I was going to put cream on poor Miss Ebony's back. And this is the cream. Oh, sorry. Natural Herbal Botanica. Botanica. Now, this company gives me no money, but I highly recommend their herbal products. I get nothing from them. Um, and I'm going to use this. It's got lots of lovely herbs. Oh, things covered. There, it's got tea tree oil, aloe vera, lavender, comfrey. It has all kinds of healing herbs and things like that. So it's excellent stuff. That'd be good for... For us, for people. I oh, it is. Me, like. Oh, no, you can put, it's hand, human yeah. hand cream and stuff like that. No, yeah. it's excellent for humans as well. He does it for humans and animals. Mm. But this is the one I use for whenever an animal has an injury or something. And Ebony's going to love this. So Susan's going to film me putting it on the sheep so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you come over, you can see they are all gone. All of the maggots are gone. But you can see how itchy it is. And if you look up really close to her, let's see if I can turn her around a little bit. But you see, this is all, it's like they got the top part of her skin. And you can see how itchy that is. So, now, this will be delicious healing stuff. It's got all those antiseptic herbs and things like that on it. Her, do you see how she's yeah. actually loving it? She is, she's, she's not she's, trying to move away. She's, she's not closer. moving away. I'm not, I'm not, look at that. She it smells loves. good too. Doesn't it smell really <laughs> good? With all the lavenders and all those kind of things. She thinks she's going to the spa. Oh, she's totally, this is the, this is called the aftercare um, manky spa. <laughs> when she was manky with maggots. So, okay. And I will probably put that on her once a day for a few days. But you can see her skin is already, it's like leathery, mm. but this will um, ease the itchiness. You can see her wiggling her butt. It's so itchy. Okay, there. Good girl. Yeah, right, you good girl. Look at her licking her lips. Yes. Oh, kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so done with this great stuff. Yay.